Hey guys, Dusty Baker here with Cross Timbers Bison. Who we have here is one of our pregnant um, bred heifers. Um, and uh, the problem is, is her and the one that looks just like her other bred heifer um, is usually together. They're, they're kind of in separate, but it's interesting because she's gone. And you guys know that um, we have two bred heifers uh, about to be mamas and uh, she's not here right now, so which is really interesting. So I think that we need to go out in the pasture and we need to look and see if we've got a baby calf or not. It's going to be really exciting um, because this will be our very first calf and uh, it's going to be big. So I hope that we can go out here and see what we have. Stay tuned. Follow us around. So what I did was is I snuck up just to the outside of our barn and so this is always interesting whenever every time I come out here I always try to count them and make sure that they're all together and first thing I noticed was there's only five out here and if you look right over there you can't see it right now but there is a baby bison calf over there with one of our quapaw heifers and I think he's laying down. I really can't see him, but when I first walked up here, I saw him standing up and um, I'm super excited. So the baby calf is up and you can see him hiding behind his mom. What our bison do here is, is they'll lay up when it gets really hot, it's summertime, so they're they get laid up when it's hot in the middle of the day, one, two, three o'clock. Um, and in the evening time, when the sun starts to set, they'll come out and they'll graze again. Um, then they'll, they can even graze all night too. But um, they always stay together. But um, I've been told to, from a lot of bison experts and, and, and just even cattle people, it's, it's the same sort of um, relationship. Um, but they'll kind of separate themselves from the herd, as my understanding, to calve. And um, I think she had a, the calf last night. Um, we checked her yesterday evening, um, like around 8 o'clock, and um, she was, everything was fine. Uh, we knew that she was getting really close. Um, both of them are really close. So anyways, um, we checked them, and uh, everything was fine. And we come out here the next day and we have um, a baby calf. So, um, but you know, she's still separating herself out here from the rest of the herd. And uh, I think it's just it's crazy how everything works out. And um, um, these bison, they just take care of themselves. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do anything with them yourself. It's all gonna be natural. You're not going to get around them or anything like that like you can um, help cattle sometimes that are having trouble calving but uh, it's crazy how these animals just everything works out and they they can handle themselves and, and they don't need any help at all and so if you can tell here everything works out and uh, I know she'll take care of her calf and do a good job and um, we're just really excited and hopefully we can get up a little bit closer we're not gonna get up too close. It's a first time mama and she, uh, I don't wanna mess with her. I don't wanna push her buttons, so.
So there you go, right there. There he is. This is about as close as we can get to him. Uh, Mama is super protective and does not like anything near her babies except one of these bison that are already here. So um, as you can tell, he's doing great. He is milking. And that's the good stuff right there. That's what he needs, that, um, that good nutrition from Mama. And so he's doing really good. Um, but here, other heifer, um, Dakota, she hasn't had her baby yet. She's about to plump over. She's, she's, come on. Just have a baby at some point, please. So uh, it's July now, which is really late for the bison to have their babies. Typically, it's anywhere from April till June. Um, our Quapaw is her name, which these are two Quapaw heifers is what we call them. Um, she had hers uh, June 27th. Um, some of you probably uh, saw the sneak peek that I put out on Facebook and Instagram. And I know um, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead uh, did a little calf uh, dropping for us. So anyways, um, but he's doing great. And uh, this is, we're up here at the corral and they only come up for water and we give them a little bit of feed right now. So just to keep them healthy and keep some weight on, on our mamas and our, and our young herd. But the great thing about that drone is I don't have to get out there with that baby. It's dangerous to get close to these mamas um, when they've got when they've got babies, and so you don't want to get really close to them. I can't get near as close as I, I usually do. You've seen some of my videos, but I'm staying out of the pens. Uh, I use that ATV now to really get around and try to watch my back and be safe. The best way for me to check them right now, and especially the other mama there, Dakota, is to use that drone. So I can get up pretty close and it doesn't bother them. They're, they're kind of used to it by now, really. They'll look up in the sky and see it, but that drone has, has done some cool stuff for us and I love using it. Uh, you see it in every single one of my videos. But that drone, I can spy on them and I don't have to go out in the pasture and I can see them and I can really get up close. I can even get some photos of the baby and some really good footage. Hey guys, so I know I've been talking about uh, mamas and babies here a lot lately, but, and that's fun and super exciting, but don't forget about our other three um, heifers. We've got uh, Peaches and then we've got Eleanor, the fan favorite, and then we've got old Attitude, Bell Star. she's out in the pasture somewhere. But um, these guys are doing great. And um, you know, here pretty soon, uh, hopefully these guys, these gals, excuse me, are, are uh, going to be getting bred. So uh, breeding season for bison is late July, um, August and September are kind of the main months. And so hopefully our bull, John Dunbar, as you guys have already met, if you haven't, go back to one of my, uh, I think it's second video where I introduced the entire herd. And so John, Don, John Dunbar is our main bull. And uh, hopefully he's getting ready to do his job. He's got three heifers uh, to breed, and so we uh, we hope he we hope he does what he's supposed to do. So, but with bison, you they have to be um, at least two years old to breed. It takes bison longer to start producing than cattle. Um, so these heifers are two years old. Um, so when they have babies next year, hopefully uh, they'll be three years old and um, that will be really exciting. So we could have potentially three to five babies. So kind of the stages, it's tough because, you know, our two oldest heifers, um, Quapaw and Dakota, um, still waiting on Dakota to have her baby. But once these uh, mamas have their babies, in a very short period of time is the breeding window. And so, uh, those mamas have to have a calf and then, you know, uh, the blood starts rushing and, and, and other things are happening inside of mom. And that's the, you know, when they come in heat in that July, August and September. So there's not much turnaround for, for those two older ones because one of them still hadn't calfed and the other one has calfed, uh, in late June. So, um, but these gals here, including Bell Star, 
uh, should hopefully be coming in heat if they already haven't. And we'll hopefully be getting pregnant and John Dunbar does his job here pretty soon. So there's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, we're still waiting on one baby and we got breeding season right around the corner, uh, which is really exciting. So um, everything's going pretty good right here at Cross Timbers. Hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the baby uh, bull. We don't have a name for him yet. Um, we're still thinking about it. So, but thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for watching our videos and following us along. Um, you know, ever since I started this, um, it's just taken off and I love it because I get to talk about bison and I get to talk about my bison. And uh, it's just so fun to talk about these animals. These are just the coolest animals. They're so fun and amazing. I'm so lucky to have um, these six, now seven, um, bison out here on my just little farm in Sulphur, Oklahoma. I just love it, enjoy it, and my family gets to be a part of it. And we just love it. And it's, it's been a great experience. And you guys support supporting me and following me along on this journey has been fun and you're right in the heat of it right here obviously i'm sweating speaking of heat um right here we've got uh, a baby on the ground waiting on one more and we got breeding season coming around the corner so a lot happening and uh just stay tuned keep following us uh subscribe to us if you want to um you know get those notifications and uh go to facebook and you can follow us on instagram so we'd love for you to follow us and and see how we do things here and and how our uh, how the herd's doing and how the babies are doing hopefully babies we still have uh, one more so thank you guys so much